Involuntary commitment is the act of placing a person in a psychiatric ward without their consent. This is so it can be assured that they can be treated appropriately. It is often referred to as being put on a Section 12 order. The laws surrounding this Section 12 order vary, but it is usually deemed only for people who are mentally ill or are in danger to themselves or others. In the U.S., the maximum amount of time one can be kept in a psychiatric ward against their will is three to five days. If police arrive on scene and find someone who is a harm to themselves or others, they are brought to the hospital and examined by a clinician to see if they need to be held and treated. It is only the clinicians and doctors who have the say whether they are to be held in the psychiatric ward or not. If someone is held more than three to five days on a Section 12 order, it is brought to the court to be extended to a Section 35 order, but the patient has a right to fight it. Involuntary commitment is a problem because it is said that someone should be involuntary committed if they are dangerous. But what do we consider dangerous? The guidelines of being at harm to oneself or another are very broad, so many people are subject to this involuntary commitment. If the clinician evaluates them and decides they are mentally ill or a harm to themselves or society, they can be held against their will. This is a huge gray area between who is a patient of concern and who should be able to leave the facility at will. There have been numerous cases that have revolved around this exact problem. They touch upon how patients' rights have been violated. They discuss the issues of determining whether someone is competent enough to make their own medical decisions, how to determine who is an imminent threat and should be committed, and who is not. Doctors sometimes will hold someone in involuntary commitment for fear of the liability they have if that patient leaves the hospital and creates a dangerous situation due to lack of treatment. For instance, say a patient was brought to the hospital because they were intoxicated. The doctor decides to Section 12 them, even though they are not a harm to themselves or others. That doctor has liability over that patient if they clear them to leave the hospital, so they don't. In a clear-cut example of the use of involuntary commitment, a doctor would section a patient who is proven to be dangerous to oneself or others, such as someone who comes in saying they want to die. So, is it legal to section a patient who is not proved to be a harm to oneself or others? Is it ethical? The answer is, there is a huge gray area in these circumstances.